Mm. So in this week's breaking news story, uh, this was mm. in the Lesotho Times. Minister vows to revoke cannabis licenses. Health Minister Nkaku Kabi has vowed to revoke all cannabis licenses that are not operational by the end of this month. This, as Lesotho grapples with complying with stringent regulations of the Vienna, Austria-based International Narcotics Control Board, which forbids countries to keep inoperational licenses, lest they be used for illegal purposes. <coughs> yeah, so, nervous, yeah. So effectively, this minister is saying, all your oaks have got these licenses, because I'm not going to lie, but a couple of oaks come knock on my door and say, have I got a, have I got a minute to talk to them about their Lesotho license? Because gang oaks got licenses, but there's, they don't have money, they don't have posy, so there's a couple that are running. There were obstacles when they wanted to start their grow, and mm -hmm. also with licenses, you know, that's the commodity. Nobody's planting seeds, they're just selling licenses. And they say also these oaks can't comply, so let's say this Oculus suit has got this license, now he needs to comply with this Vienna mm -hmm. International Narcotics Control Board regulation shit uh -huh. that treats this as like a schedule for tech drug. Yeah. Mm -mm. You know? I mm. and CB is like this toothless beast that n nobody actually listens to, but people like him hide behind as just an excuse. You're right, eh? Oh, the I and CB are these toothless wonders that yeah. nobody listens to. The I and CB is like this, a, a part, of, it's like a, it's not the UN, it's, it re reacts to stuff for the UN. They are the world drug police. And they're the party poopers that wrote the letter to Trudeau saying, you can't legalise cannabis in there, there. and the, to Uruguay, you can't legalise in These are these, they're the party poopers. And they've been ignored so by I'd, both countries. I'd say it's a very, very <coughs> weak excuse to revoke the licences, but we've seen a licence recently that had a non-transfer clause on it, the yeah. latest, because all of the licences that are operational now have been transferred all around the houses. So maybe that's a way... Well, they've been, they've been trying to set them up and then they obviously can't afford it and then they sell it, sell off. it off. They say, well, right. I can't do this. Let me find someone that'll take it because... You can't get their act together in a short space of time. Well, that's it. Yeah, it yeah. takes a lot to get a, a license to grow to get together. Operational. So really, Key word. It's Operational. Really, yeah. uh, like Brandon, monumental remember, task. Seriously. Remember is. when Brandon was here, he was talking about the <coughs> off-take agreement. Yeah. You've got yes. to have somebody to buy it and they've got to be from First. another part of the planet. Yeah. And then how do you get it with the logistics of getting it? It's not even about that. You have to have a whole entire facility built. Yes. Mm and running basically to spec well almost to spec but it has to be complete for them to give you the license yeah. so, so guys you did not get a license yeah. before the, the people that phone the helpline all the time mm. uh, up till now had basically two problems that mm. they faced the offtake agreement like mm. an overseas fly, fly, fly overseas flowers, and go and literally and go where hang to out. get seeds <laughs> and now, yeah. and now months later just well, import them nice. just, <laughs> just bring them in months right. later now it's moved on and now I'm beginning to get calls about people that that Reason managed that. to get that grow going mm -hmm. and that at, are now at the next step where this weed now has to be transported. Mm. And South mm. Africa has no regulations that say how that can happen safely. So these people have licenses that were authorized by SAPRA and it's all legit, but they can't transport their cannabis because the government hasn't put down those regulations. They are so scared of the hawks and the cops, they can't get their weed out of their grow. I mean, you spent billions. Maybe they should give the hawks a call and ask them for no, a loan. Fucking You've got escort. your trust filled with your loot now. You've spent months getting this perfect grow together. The stuff's at the right humidity and everything. Right, and you yeah. can't get it from A to B. Shame. What a crying shame. Mm. Um, and you've got to get it from A to B without it in a nice temperature controlled, yeah, humidity fine. controlled that's track. Fine, Otherwise, it's going to run decoy. If it's medical. Uncertified seed. Yeah, if it's medical, it has to be very strictly controlled. The, yeah. way, the way I saw it with the off offtake agreement is if, if some Canadian wants Acapulco gold, they have to produce the seed for it. Yeah. There, is, there is no question about seed, it's all part of the offtake. Yeah. You get told what to grow mm. yeah, by you, the person who's exactly. going to buy it. So I, went with, I don't know where to find seed. Well, try about try the oak who wants to buy you wheat from you. He'll mm. have it. He'll say what he wants, and then from there say, well, have you got a supplier? And right, all of that, all that kind of stuff. But Koi Dank, um, uh, Warren's in the house. He sees it as a moratorium on unicorn hunting. <laughs> yeah, so I think the oaks are all on the right note, Jack, because first Jules said that this INCB thing is a toothless fucker that this oak's using to defend his decision. And Charles said Sapra, yeah, but there was news this morning. Mm. So for all your oaks don't know, for the guys that kind of mostly do have licenses in SA, they're via Sapra. Yeah. Some South, South African Health, blah, blah, blah. 
But now these <laughs> oaks, <laughs> these <laughs> oaks are suddenly <laughs> being investigated for corruption. Ish. Signed well, off by the president himself. So they're not saying it's weed related, but they're saying these oaks are not just corruption, severe corruption. Mm. So how severe is severe corruption, Christ? Well, well in South Africa, if there's a smoke, there's a fire, right? Fuck's sake. Do you know what they did? They forgot to give Cyril his cut of those license fees. Now. Yeah. Well, no, look, this is South Africa, so what in any other country might see as severe corruption is run of the mill corruption for us. Mm. So this could be worse than our normal. But maybe it's this move. Maybe, maybe that minister there and old T, old T Ruth got together and they said, there's too many licenses. There's too many licenses. We need to stop them. So they skittered brakes in Lesotho uh -huh. and now they've tanked Sapra. So that these are the only ever licenses. Dun, dun, dun. They've all got self all shelf dates. Yeah, they've all got five years on them. Yeah, oaks. So get your bids in now. Eh? Yeah. So um, yeah. Simon Shapiro says humans should not smoke or ingest duck recreationally before their brains have finished developing at age twenty six. Oil for i.e. epilepsy etc. is exception to the rule. So now my question to you, Simon, is why would you do age 26 when it's 18 for alcohol and alcohol's yeah. a known killer? What is this yeah. disparity you've got in your head mm. about how you perceive the evils of cannabis to be? Yes. Age 26, bro, you'd be barking up the wrong tree in a portfolio you eating without. You've kept well, it, you've kept it, you've kept it under lock for you too long and they're going to start doing mischievous things that you don't want them to do. Yeah, you're going to criminalise <laughs> people into, for another seven years if you do that, matey. That's your opinion, but I've, I've got another one. I can get. I can understand because there's a lot of there's like a lot of studies that say that our brains are forming until our mid twenties, still. But then, dude, let's be real. If we were going to take that opinion, no ciggies, no but sugars, no alcohol, no fucking nookie. Mm. What about masturbation? No fucking nothing. <laughs> nothing that alters your mind or gives you an experience no that would oh, alter Jesus. your future conscience in any way no, like would be allowed. Like masturbation. No, that's even no alters your conscience. Yeah. No Jesus, no nookie, nothing. But no I get Jesus. what you're saying. No I get Jesus. what you're saying. No, Jesus. no. no Oaks, then we get fucking banned again on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oaks, uh, please remember, like, share, subscribe.